Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to another song review. Today we're going to be listening to Cochise, I believe is how you say it, by Audio Slave. It was the winner of last week's poll. I'll pop it in here for you to see. This was a Chris Cornell themed poll, and this was the winner by a decent amount. Um, Soundgarden, Slaves, and Bulldozers was second place at 34%. So I will have to check that one out one day too. But yeah, today's Cochise, and I just want to say that I really appreciate you guys leaving comments and letting me know about the band. I still have yet to get back to some of them from the last Audio Slave video, but I promise you I will. And, you know, I try to analyze lyrics and talk a little bit about the song and meaning and everything like that at the end of the videos, but I feel like there really is no better way to learn than from you guys who are actually fans of the band and sometimes have been fans for decades. You know, I feel like you are the greatest source of information. So I just want to say thank you. But yes, let's pop our headphones in, turn it up. I ramble a lot. I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> and here we go. And I love that a lot of the older videos have the captions in there to read along with the lyrics. Not all the time. I got distracted by the drums. <laughs> drum person. I feel the chaotic energy already. favorite Chris Cornell song.
gosh, I would love to see a behind the scenes of this video. How did they do it? I'm assuming it was just like in real time, the fireworks with the band. That was really cool. And here's the thing, I'm not a big fireworks fan. I don't, I don't want to like complain about something fun um but like just for like I see how scared animals get with them so I'm not like a huge fan but watching it in the video like that was it looked really cool I will say I actually want to go back to the one part where the drums kicked back in and you can see Tom Morello like stomping his foot to the beat and then it really kicks in I'll show you what I mean okay let's go to and put the blame on me so you don't feel a thing I think that's what it said here you go. And we get to listen to that again. Wait for it. Oh my god, that scream. I just missed him stomping. Hopefully you guys were watching the stomp. I was like mesmerized by the scream. Oh, see, what do I do here? This is like a reactor problem because it's like I really wanted to hear. Let's just watch it one more time. I watch uh, the charismatic voice and she does this all the time. So what's one more time, right? Let's just enjoy it once more. <laughs> I hate doing that, but let's just appreciate it one more time. Okay, I put the blame on me. Let's just focus on the scream and then pay attention to the stomp. There's a stop. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could watch this video a million times. That's really, really cool. This might be my favorite, like I said, this might be my favorite Chris Cornell involved song. But okay, let's look at the lyrics quick. I can't believe I got distracted there. That's like, that's the first time that happened that I got like scattered while trying to show you something. So on Genius, it says, Cochise was released as Audio Slave's first single. Really? That was their first single? Would that be their most popular or would that be like a stone? Because I feel like that one's up there too. I don't know. We'll, I'll see if I can figure that out too. The song was named after an Apache Indian chief who declared war on the Southwest and drove out thousands of settlers. Cochise has been described as the last great American Indian chief to die free and absolutely unconquered. When several members of his family were captured, tortured, and hanged by the U.S. Cavalry, Cochise declared war on the entire Southwest and went on an unholy rampage, a war path to end all war paths. Wow. Chris Cornell said the lyrics was about me yelling at me in a mirror. The song has several potential interpretations. First, it could be about someone yelling that he needs to stop wasting his life away. A second and deeper interpretation is alcoholism as the Tates will discuss. The Tates? Finally, a common subject in Chris Cornell's music is depression and how it can seem like depression is another part of you that wants to see you dragged down. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, the lyrics, let's see here. I won't preach to you, but here's a caution. You better understand that I won't hold your hand, but if it helps you men, then I won't stop it. So I kind of, I feel like it could be even somebody to somebody else but they're also going through something like drown if you want. And I'll see you at the bottom where you crawl on my skin and put the blame on me. So you don't feel a thing. Like I kind of feel like maybe, I don't know when I was listening to it, I kind of felt like you might be singing that to somebody else, even though you don't have the best habits or you don't have the best thoughts yourself. And like, you can relate to a person, but you're also like warning them about it that's kind of what I got from it. Like they said, I guess there's a lot of interpretations for it, but yeah, I really liked this one a lot. I think it takes the cake for top Chris Cornell song in my book.
So one more thing before we end the video, I just typed in most well-known audio slave song. And the first one that came up is Like a Stone. And then Cochise. And then Moth. Then Show Me How to Live. So I know some of these now. I don't know Moth, though. Got another one I have to check out. You guys can let me know. Oh, there's a page called Ranker. Ranked best to worst by fans. Number one is Like a Stone. Then Be Yourself. Show Me How to Live. I Am the Highway. Shadow of the Sun. Gasoline. Cochise. Cochise is number seven. Can I just upvote it? Oh, I think I gave it an upvote. <laughs> I don't know all the other ones, but I just boosted that one. But you guys let me know where this one ranks on your favorites. I want to watch the video again. That's what I'm going to do when I end this video. I'm going to watch it again and probably play this on repeat because it was awesome. All right, guys, I will end this one here. Very, very good pick. Thank you for voting in the poll. There will be another poll tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.